spinning fast, it's a brand new day Exgeo Rider leads the way Code it, move it, twist and glide Feel the power of tech inside Magnetic joints that never stall Balanced moves, it does it all Fuck wheels and sensors in sync On any terrain, it doesn't blink Ride the code, light it up Program dreams and never stop From make code pops to Python flow Let the knowledge freely grow Bluetooth beats, we're on the go With Exio Rider, we steal the show It learns with grace, types of charge, keeps up the pace IQ reads the rise and it dips, never slipping, never skips Open ports for endless play, robotics magic DIY -Y way Kids and coders, now's your time, build the future line by line Write the code, light it up, program dreams and never stop Hi guys, this is a balancing robot I built some time ago But since creating it was quite complex, I didn't make a tutorial video for it Recently though, I came across a new robot called the Esco Rider while browsing online. It's developed by a company named Electrix, which focuses on the development and sales of microbit related accessories. Currently, their products, courses and services are used by tens of thousands of school and educational institutions across more than 100 countries and regions worldwide. With global shipping, secure payment option and 24 hours online customer support, I felt confident ordering the Esco Rider robot from them. One more important point, this is their patent product, which makes it even more special. I have included the official purchase links and all related electric details in the description below. Keep in mind. If you purchase only the Exco Rider kit, you can control it using the Exco mobile app. But if you want to program it with your own custom mode, you will need to buy it with the microbit board. Before unboxing, I have to say I will always admire their Exco robot dog. And if this video gets enough views, I plan to review that one too. So don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends and subscribe for more cool robotics content. Alright then, without further delay, let's jump into Esco Rider unboxing experience. First things you will notice the Esco Rider Kit User Guide. Inside the accessories box, you will find a screwdriver, two extra screws, a micro USB cable, a Type C USB cable, and a micro bit version 2 board. Once you take the Exco Rider out of the box, the next is step to charge it. Simply use the Type C cable and connect it like this to start charging. When the robot is fully charged, a green LED indicator will light up. On average, it takes about 2 hours to reach a full charge. And once fully charged, the robot can operate for around 3 hours. At the front of the Exco Rider robot, there's a dedicated slot for mounting the microbit board. The chassis is built using a combination of durable hard plastic and aluminum alloy, giving it both strength and stability. The wheels and the top section are connected using carbon fiber components, adding to its lightweight and premium design. It's powered by a 2S18500 1400mAh battery. And charging is handled by this SLM6800IC 
which is part of a 2 cell lithium ion battery synchronous boot current circuit for a 5 volt adapter this here is the 1460p motion sensor chip which works as an attitude sensor gyroscope helping the robot maintain its balance all of these components are controlled by the ESP32 Rover microcontroller which comes with built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. But that's not all. The robot also includes a microphone and a speaker, allowing for more interactive possibilities. The Esco Rider uses two high light spam fog brushless motors which integrated control circuitly. And the servo motors are all metal featuring magnetic encoding and are controlled through a bus serial port system for smooth and accurate movement. Let's go ahead and power on the Esco Rider robot and see it in action. Since it's a balancing robot, using it a flat spatial surface is recommended. Trying it on uneven ground or soft surface could be risky. Don't worry about balance. This robot handles it exceptionally well. As you can see in the video, even when it's push or nudge, the robot automatically return to its original position. Another great feature is its built-in safety mechanism. If you try to force fully tilt or move the robot, it will pause automatically after a few seconds. Once it's placed up ring again, it will resume operation on its own. It is a smart and well-designed safety system that protects both the robot and the user. The Esco Rider robot offers two main control modes. Esco App Control and Graphic Programming. First, let's look at how to control it using the Esco App. The app is available on both the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. I will be showing you how to install it from the Play Store. To control the robot via the app, you don't need to connect the microbit board, but you can if you want to use more advanced features. Start by turning on the Esco Rider robot, then make sure the location is turned on your mobile device. If it's off, the robot won't connect via Bluetooth. Now open the Esco app and tap the Bluetooth icon at the top left corner. The app will start scanning, and once it finds the Esco Rider, it will connect. After that, feel free to test out the controls and move the robot however you like. use program mode, you will definitely need a microbit board. As shown in the video, start by connecting the microbit board to the Esco Ride robot. For complete instructions, visit the Esco Robot Kit Learn page, which includes full documentation for both the kit and programming mode. I will include the required link in the description. Once you are there, select the Esco Rider Kit then scroll to the case library section. You will find 15 case tutorials with detailed programming guides and examples. I will now demonstrate how to program using a few of those examples. First, search microbit on Google 
and click on the very first link. It will take you to Microsoft Make Code for Microbit website. On that page, you will find a lot of beginners friendly tutorial as well. Click on New Project and give your project a name. Then click on Extensions and search for Esco Rider in the dialog box. Add the Esco Rider extensions and now you will see the Esco blocks appear. You can start building your desired program using these drag and drop blocks. If this feels too complicated, you can follow the easier method I mentioned earlier. First go to the case library on the Esco Rider learn page. Select the case you want. I will start with case 8, calibration mode. You will see a sample program on the page. Below it, click the reference program link. This will open the project directly in make code. Click edit to open it inside the editor. Now connect to a micro bit board your computer using a micro USB cable. Once it's connected, click the download button. The code will now be uploaded to your microbit. To test it, first unplug the data cable and then power on the robot. As before, it will stand up the balance in place. Now press the A button on the microbit. This put it into calibration mode. Move the robot around to calibrate and when done, press the B button. After a few seconds, it will return to normal mode. Let's try a few more case examples and see how they work. For me, this is truly a special balancing robot. I clearly remember how challenging it was to build my own balancing robot in the past. Which is why I am honest impressed by how we design and refine the product is. Creating something like this that works so smoothly is quite remarkable. Personally, I didn't find any real downsiders with this robot. At times, you might need a bit of fatigue to get used to the controls. But other than that, it's a great product. You can use it to learn programming, get hand on practice and explore new concepts in robotics. I will include all the necessary purchase links and product details in the video description below. A big thanks you to Electrix. I am really looking forward to reviewing more of their robots in the future. If you enjoy this video, don't forget to like, share it with others and subscribe if you want to see more robotics content like this. That's all for now. I will see you soon with another exciting tech video.